Hey there friends, today we are going to be adding some external storage onto the Samsung Chromebook 3. We're going to talk over this specific card, prices, and why this is a great option for these lower end cheap computers. So as many of you know, these Samsung Chromebooks are really, really cheap uh, computer options. Again, if you need to do low processing uh, computing. And on um, this specific model, this Chromebook, it's got an SD, a micro SD uh, card slot right here on the side. Now, the internal storage on this machine is about 32 gigabytes. Now, that is fairly small for a normal uh, computer where you're needing to store files and all those kind of things. Again, the good thing about Chromebooks is you connect them with your drive your Google Drive, and you have all sorts of storage available in the cloud. But there are quite a few times when you may need local storage uh, for very specific files, video processing, things like that. Not that we're going to be doing heavy video processing, but the option for those kind of things is, is really nice. And again, with, with a 32 gigabyte hard drive, you're going to fill up your storage really, really quick. So that's why these specific micro SD cards are a perfect option for adding that external storage to the side of your computer right here. You can actually leave these cards in at all times because they have a really, really low uh, profile. And again, this just gives you some really good options uh, as an external storage device. Now, this specific card on uh, Amazon, they were running a Black Friday special and I was able to pick it up for about 24 bucks. It's normally around 50 for the 256 gig. You can get 128 for right around 16 bucks uh, any time of the year though. So again, some pretty cheap options. So let's go ahead and open this little guy up and let's put it in the machine and see what it looks like. Okay, so here is our 256 micro SD card. Uh, I've brought up my uh, file system right here so we can take a look. What's gonna happen over here as soon as I put this into the slot is we're gonna get another a storage drive option that comes up right down here. So uh, let's go ahead and stick this guy into the slot. Again, it's a really, really small slot. And uh, so I'm just gonna kind of take this in and then you gotta push it in kind of with your fingernail and you'll, you'll feel it. So you can see that it's, it's a little spring loaded and you'll hear that little click. And look at the profile, it doesn't even stick out at all. So we, if we go back up to our screen, you can see we now have the SD card option right here. And we can go ahead and start dropping items onto this specific card now. Now, if we want to eject the card, what you first need to do is actually click on the eject button and that is going to release it so you can manually eject it now. Again, if you need to get it out of the SD card slot, I highly suggest just taking your fingernail. You'll hear that little click and you can see it kind of pulls out and you can grab it and get that guy in and out. So that's how it works. Again, these things are really small. They don't work really well as hard drives that an operating system is needing to access and read and write to all the time. But again, it is a external storage device. This is a great option for adding quite a bit of storage to your Chromebook. Again, I'm using the Samsung Chromebook. This is 119 bucks. This little guy was 24 bucks on Amazon. I'll put some links in the description box below if this is uh, something that you guys would like to purchase on your own from Amazon. Thanks for watching. This has helped. Hit that thumbs up button for me. You also may want to subscribe because we get a lot more Chromebook tutorials coming up really soon. Thanks for watching.